This is amazing. Like, look at the view that Farming Karma has. Like, watch out! I watch Hello Okanagan from Vernon. Hello Okanagan, Hello Toboggan, 365 we rockin', the bottles poppin', sun's out, the whips clean, Peach Town, Beat Town, all in between, downtown spots hit the scene to be seen, so many local beers, my drive 15, 16. Hey guys, I'm really excited, we're here in Kelowna, Farming Karma. Peter, what the f are you doing? Okay, so we're here in Farming Karma, we're really excited, we can't wait to drink this stuff. And I hear it's really cool. Oh! How is it? Yo, it's really good. It's farming Karma. We're at Farming Karma here in Kelowna. Why did you just steal all the words? Hello, Okanagan. We're here in Kelowna, another episode. We're really excited. We found these guys on social media and we need to find out their story. I've already had a taste of their product and it's really good. Anyways, we got Avi, the owner here of Farming Karma. Avi, thanks for inviting us down here. Yeah, no worries, Peter. Thanks for coming. Thanks, man. Awesome, yeah. man. Tell us a little bit about the history, how Farming Karma came to be. You guys are in for two years, is that correct? Yeah, we're actually, we've been doing this for about two and a half years. Um, we've been farming, growing apples and cherries for about 30 years. You actually farm the products that you're putting in your can, because if you didn't, it would have just been called Karma Beverages. Yeah, so it's so farming actually, karma because literally you're actually, farming. Yeah, it's kind of funny. My, uh, my dad's name is actually Karma. So, so when we came up with the name, it's uh, his name's Karma. He's been farming for a oh, while, so it. we're like farming karma. Oh, we put a do good spin on it. We like to do good around here. We we grow our apples, we juice them, and uh, we basically make healthy alternatives to pot. Amazing. Well, and as we can see, it's not just a, uh, you know, an orchard and, you know, a front for beverages here. There is lots to do, so why don't we get right into it? For those familiar with Kelowna, we're in Upper Rutland here, and I just wanted to know exactly, how did you guys come up with this location? Uh, this property has actually been in, in the family for a few years and uh, the shell of the, the building was already here. The plan was to make a, a fruit stand out of it. Then one thing led to another and we, we had the building already. We just had to reno it so it seemed like the perfect place to get the business started. We're here in the bowels of the company here. This is where the production happens. So you're pulling fruit out of your own orchard. Yeah. So you're bringing getting, it here. Yeah. So you crush. Yeah. Tell us the process. That's uh, essentially it, actually. <laughs> so, so. I took away all the lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you took away all, all, all the lines. But no, yeah, we bring in fruit, we bring in apples and cherries. Uh, so there's a bunch of equipment uh, that'll kind of turn into pulp first. Pulp goes into a belt press, squeezes the juice out of there. And once we isolate the juice, then we start working on our blend on you know, the right water content, how do we make it a serving of fruit instead of a pure juice, all that sort of stuff. And then it goes into something like this. Yeah, yeah, and this is where we'll mix it up with, uh, with uh, you know, the carbonated water and things like that. Yeah. You know what I found is yeah. great with your yeah. drink? Yeah. A little bit of vodka. A little bit of vodka, yeah. 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 Funny you say that, because right. uh, in about, so just last month we got approved for a distillery. So, so we'll be adding um, vodka to our products and uh, well, vodka or gin. Yes. And it'll be kind of like a vodka soda, a fruit vodka soda. Now tell us a little bit about the canning process. So that's also done right behind me here? Yeah, that's actually done right through those doors. So this area, that the room we're standing in right now, it's a um, kind of a juicing room. And then on the other side, we have the canning, yeah. All right, so we are here and ready to taste. So why don't you walk us through some of your first flavors and then, you know, some of your favorites. I'm hoping we can try every single one. Which was the first flavor you guys created so, off? Apple soda is the first one because that's the fruit that we grow the most of. It's not just any apple and there's ambrosia apples, uh, which is Okanagan's specialty, so you can taste we, that in there. Do we do one of these? 
swirl. Yeah, do we have to swirl smell? It's not necessary. I'm getting, oh my god, wait up. I can I'm actually apple. Smell I'm, getting, I'm getting apple on the nose. <laughs> now you're getting apple on the nose. <laughs> but this is amazing, like. So what was the next, one of the next flavors you guys did? Uh, so we came up with the peach one next. Uh, and then it was cherry right after one another. Thank you, my friend. So what are we drinking here next? I see cherry. So peach and cherry almost got launched at the same time last summer, so that'd be the next one. All right, awesome. Cherry's actually my favorite fruit. And you guys grow cherries here. We do, this This is a cherry orchard. So, so I have a question now, because we're talking fresh fruits and everything, there's no preservatives in your drink? No, not at all. So we uh, pasteurize our sodas twice, uh, so that eliminates any need for adding preservatives. Next we're cracking the berry soda. So try this one next, cheers. Um, Mm. One thing I'm noticing, it says on the box though, is um, that it's it's not from concentrate. So tell us a little bit about that. What's right. the difference between from concentrate and what you guys do here? So a lot of fruit products that you will see in the store, uh, they are made from concentrate. And what that means is the fruit's picked somewhere, then somebody turns it into a liquidy syrup thing because it's easier to transport if it's concentrated and then it gets shipped here. And then the final step for the manufacturer is just to add some water in it. Uh, so instead of doing that traditional route, which ends up being cheaper actually for a lot of manufacturers, we choose to use fresh fruit and juice it right here in our facility that goes straight into the can. The uh, This one I gotta say is not just berry flavor, but it's berry good too. <laughs> you're hilarious here. Yep. The coolest part about this business is you're not shipping anything in from somewhere. Everything is literally made in the Okanagan for you guys literally in your own backyard, it's farmed. You bring it in here, you juice it, but you also have something like a Frisbee golf or something? Yeah, so this this uh, place is not just a manufacturing place, it's also an agritourism facility. We've got lots of stuff. So it's a cherry orchard, it's a production facility, it's a tasting room, it's an RV park, there's a dog park, there's a picnic area back there, and you can also play some Frisbee golf. Guys, listen, staycation. If you gotta do a staycation, this is the place to be. And if you're watching this from outside the Okanagan, we just gave you another place to come and visit. Let's go outside and have some fun. Hello Okanagan, I'm Elizabeth Flowers and here's your Okanagan update. The Okanagan's only operating heritage steam train needs our help. The Kettle Valley Steam Railway Society is reaching out for help and support to pay for upkeep of operations of the Okanagan's only operating steam train in Summerland. Whether it's by riding the train, buying a membership or making a donation, everything helps. Because of COVID last year, the Heritage Train opened only very briefly last summer for a limited schedule, but like many other businesses, the railway is feeling the pinch. Even without the train running, the gift shop is still open five days a week, and the online store will be up and running. There's electronic gift cards available for purchase via the website or at the station. These e-gift cards can be used for merchandise or for future tour bookings, and all of these sales will go to help support the Kettle Valley Steam Railway. Spring has sprung and Davidson Orchards has opened its doors. The market and bakery are open for guests to pick up their favorite baked goods, jam, jellies, fruit syrups, and more. The Farmhouse Cafe and Old Brick Press is open and ready for takeout and plenty of outdoor seating for any hungry patrons that want to come by and enjoy the view, have a lunch, or a coffee. And the gift shop too is ready for customers with a new layout that allows for more physical distancing. Johnny Popper Farm Tours are slated to run on Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. And don't forget to mark your calendars on May 24th, that's a Monday. Come on out to the Vernon Farmers Market and meet the team from Hello Okanagan. We can't wait to see you there. That's all for this week's Okanagan Update and now we'll go back to the episode. David, they weren't lying, man. Look at this thing. Literally everything. They got disc golf, they got like pet areas, bird sanctuary. Sweet, let's go check it out. Nuts. So we got a dog park on our right, uh, RV park coming up, some picnic area to the left. So I wasn't lying. So wait up here, this dog park. What yeah. If, like I see like obstacle courses and everything. And then this here was the picnic area. Yeah, that's a picnic area. We were thinking of maybe doing a little stage there, but uh, probably this here. 
to just something you do performances on. And I don't know if you can see this on camera. I mean, look at the view that Farming Karma has, like looking on yeah, the lake in the background. Like this is this is gorgeous. Yeah, I know it is a really nice, uh, peaceful spot. So we're pretty close to town, but yeah. uh, it is on a quiet just far enough yeah. to be. Uh, yeah, you got it. And now we're into where everything gets made, the orchard. It's got to yeah, start, it's gotta go. start there. Yeah, definitely. This is where the, uh, the goodness comes from. Uh, my dad, Karma, he's the expert in this uh, area. And uh, yeah, from what I heard, it's looking like a pretty good crop this year. When is When did they get picked? Like what time? Because the, the cherries are usually one of the first fruits that get Yeah, so it'll, it's mostly in July. July is a uh, picking season, so it gets pretty busy around that time. Okay. Um, but yeah, with cherry and when we make our cherry soda, it's actually a pretty short window. So I see a sign, it says disc golf. I've never played that. So is it just typical golf, but it's in a basket or something? I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't either. I just thought it was a cool <laughs> idea when he put it up. <laughs> Yeah, there's three holes here, three, uh, for nothing too crazy. Hold on, guys, hold distance. on. Check this out, David. Stuff's actually ripening right now. Hey, how'd you guys find that? Nice. This stuff is fresh, man. Delicious. Basket is it on top or is it, it just the bottom? Hit the one? chains. Oh, it's got to hit the chains. Okay. Hit the Wait up! He had two shots. <laughs> Watch out! All right, guys, courtesy of our friends at Farming Karma, we are giving away a bunch of prizes today. Peter, what do we got? We're gonna give away a case, each flavor, a full flat to you guys, and a Frisbee and a t-shirt. Best way to win is get on Facebook and Instagram right now, watch Tuesday's post. Once again, if you're not on Facebook and Instagram, you won't win.